My name is Gladiator. In this video, I take you through my journey playing the $300 Gladiator bracelet event at the World Series of Poker. This is our room, we're staying at the Horseshoe. Honestly, just so amazing being on site. Last year I stayed at Harris, I saved some money, but it wasn't worth it to be honest. You are a bit closer to the Venetian and the win and right in between the WSOP. So if you plan on playing at the Venetian and the win a bunch, it's not a bad move and you've saved some money. But honestly, just being able to go upstairs to your room on breaks during the WSOP during bracelet events, you just can't beat it, it's amazing. All right, let's go. Today's the day we play the Gladiator. We're going to be making major adjustments in this event since it'll essentially play like an $11 rebuy online. So my game plan is to deviate from GTO a ton by playing the player as much as possible considering this is the lowest buy-in ever for a live bracelet event. There's going to be a ton of recreational players in the mix looking to take a low-risk shot as well as some more experienced regulars firing max bullets, so we're going to need to adjust as needed. And I will have my vengeance in this life or the next. I decided to register around 2 or 3 a.m. the night before to avoid lines since I wanted to play this one from level 1 anyways, so we're in for $300 cash, no fees. Starting stack's 30,000 chips, levels are 30 minutes long, and day 1 ends after the 40,000 big blind level. We get off to a bit of a rocky start and drop to around 20,000 from our 30,000 starting stack. Shortly after, I open Queen 10 of Clubs to 800 at the 300 big blind level, and the button flats, big blind defends. We go three ways to a flop of base jack 2 on club, and the pot's 2900. I elect a C bet to 1200 with a gut shot to Broadway and a backdoor flush draw. The button folds, and the big blind calls. The turn's a king, giving us the nuts on a rainbow board, and the pot's now 5300. I double barrel for 2000, and the big blind calls again. The river's unfortunately a 10, bringing in the one liner to a straight, which is one of the worst cards in the deck for us to get paid, and the pot's now 9300. Big blind leads into us on the river by snap over bet jamming 18,000, and I snap call expecting a chop. Big Blind shows Ace-8 offsuit and we get a full double. We continue to chip up to around 50,000 by playing some small pots in position, as well as finding a few nice check raise bluff spots heads up from the Big Blind. Shortly after, early position min raises and cutoff who has the whole table covered decides to just snap jam for 50,000 effective, which at the time was over 60 Big Blinds. I look down at Ace-King suited on the button to make the call knowing cutoff almost never has Queens plus since the top of his range typically 3 bets not all in, and the early position opener was also much shorter than both of us. We also need to take these spots to build a big stack. Cutoff's range that just shoves here for heaps is typically 9s, 10s, Ace-Queen, Ace-King, and it's very rare we're in bad shape. Early position folds, cutoff shows pocket 10s, and we're off to a race for a roughly 130 big blind pot. Holy shit, what a river. I finally have a stack now and I continue to win small pots and I even got a guy to full jacks when I also had jacks. As the chip leader at the table, I start to color up the 500 chips while we finish up the last level of late registration before the second break. The pretty green 25k chips are officially introduced as we come back from break to the 3k big blind level. My table immediately breaks and we're told to bag up our chips and move from Horseshoe to Paris. Early position opens huge to 15,000 at the 4,000 big blind level off of a stack of roughly 60,000. So I haven't been at the table long enough to have information on what the sizing means, but it's usually combos that just want to take it down pre-flop like 8s, 9s, 10s, ace-king, ace-queen. I look down at ace-king offsuit in the big blind, have chipped up to around 230,000 at this point, and decide my only place to move all in. Early position calls is all in at risk with pocket 10s, and we're off to another huge flip. We flop the king, but unfortunately, he rivers the 10. Braz Jocker recently tweeted about how everyone has good levels and everyone has bad levels, which really helped my mindset after this pot. I continue to lose a few small pots as we start to creep towards the money, but we're still a few levels away from that happening. I look down at Ace King yet again and min raise the button to 12,000 off a stack of around 120,000. Table chip leaders in the big blind and he 3 bets me to 36,000. I 4 bet all in, he snap calls, and we're off to another race.
We're officially hand for hand at the 10k big blind level and are seconds away from locking up a very small min cash of $480. I also spot Kmart who's a fan favorite a few tables over from us. We're officially in the money and the very next level we're lucky enough to pick up pocket aces. I min raise from under the gun and only the big blind calls who's an older gentleman with a ton of chips. We have right around 200,000 at this point and he has us covered by a lot. The flop comes king queen 7 rainbow, I see bet 25k into a 66k pot and the big blind calls. The pot's now 116,000 and the turn's the 8 of hearts bringing in a backdoor flush draw as well as some additional straight draws. With about a pot size bet left behind, I ultimately decide to go all in. This decision is solely based on how many combo draws are available that my hand just wants to get value from now. The big blind tanks for a really long time and eventually flicks in the call with queen 9 of hearts. He has a ton of outs to improve against us but we hold for a massive double. We're in a great spot sitting on roughly 40 bigs, but blinds are set to go up quickly in this structure, plus our table's starting to get tougher as the day goes on, so we definitely need to keep our foot on the gas. This is my buddy Abe who we all convinced to max late reg, and he managed to build up a huge stack as well. We break tables yet again and I've been chipping up slowly by finding a bunch of steel spots as well as a spot where I checked jam with queen jack on a queen high flop after defending the big blind and was able to take that one down. The last big pot of the night, the small blind jams on me and I snap call with pocket tens for just over 300k effective. Small blind shows pocket threes and the run out's a whole lot sweatier than it needed to be. We peek around 750,000 on day one, acquire a beautiful 100k blue chip, and ultimately bag up 660,000 from a 30k starting stack. Restarts at 10 a.m. tomorrow, and this prize pool is about to be massive. Day two of the Gladiator, we've got 660,000 chips coming back to 50k big blind. We're gonna get a double. I know we're gonna get a double. It's gonna happen, we're confident. This is our room, we're at the horseshoe. We're gonna go get some Starbucks, meet our buddy Abe, and we're gonna spin it up. Let's go. All right, so if we win the Gladiator, Veronica Brill is going to bake us a Trace Leches cake, which is going to be absolutely delicious. I can't wait. So we just can't lose our all-ins. It's that easy. Let's win some all-ins. Let's win some flips. I'm a fucking gladiator, baby! All right, it is the second biggest live tournament in poker history. The Gladiators of Poker, a $300 buy-in, more than 23,000 entries. Daniel Negranu is still alive, so I gotta ask you play all the high rollers. Yeah. 50k, we got a 250k this week. Why the $300 gladiator? Because I'm a gladiator. You are a gladiator. I wanted to be a man of the people and play with the people. And look at that, there was 25,000 players, and now we got 100. So might as well. Why? Why not the gladiator? Right? If it's gonna be one, let's do that one. How much fun has it been to, to kind of mix it up with some of our weekend warriors or more recreational yeah, players? Definitely a different vibe, yeah. for sure. You know, and it's a lot of fun. It's kind of a little bit like a throwback to how I remember poker used to be a long time ago, you know, in terms of stylistically and what. But it's a lot of fun. It's it's yeah, it's just best the best the goal and maybe we'll wanna brace it. Go gladiate, good luck. Thanks. Go <laughs> there and that's my buddy. Say hello. Hello, hello. How you doing? He's a great man, he's a good guy. Ah. He's a great guy. Hello. <laughs> A couple of orbits go by at the 50k big blind level and eventually I pick up pocket deuces on the button. I open shove roughly 10 bigs and get snap called by the big blind who shows ace jack offsuit. I win a much needed flip early on day 2 and need to find a way to keep spinning it up. Mateus from the monster stack final table last year just got moved to my table with a literal monster stack. Dang. His friend looks like he's ready to this jump over the over. rail. He is. He's going to celebrate with Mateus. Mateus just one card away. Here it is. Oh, oh. my God. What? 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 I win this. I win this shit. Let's go. 
Mateus min raises from early position. My friend, the older gentleman from earlier in seat one flats. I shove 875,000 at the 60K big blind level with ace king, which is roughly 15 bigs. And Mateus calls and my buddy folds. Mateus flips over the same hand and we're going to chop this one up. My table breaks and the blinds go up again to 80,000, which means 200,000 is going in the middle per orbit. Eventually, I wake up with pocket tens in the big blind facing an early position open to 165,000. I shove all in for 625,000, putting my opponent in what appears to be a really tough spot. He eventually flicks in the call with pocket deuces, and we're in a really great spot despite him flopping a gut shot. Thank you. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? I win a much needed pot right before the second break of the day. As I return from my break, the clock's paused at the three minute mark, so this one ends up lasting a while. Early position opens to 210,000 at the 100k big blind level, and I couldn't be happier to look down at two cowboys. The blinds keep going up, and I have just under 900,000 at this point. As much as I want to get tricky here, I think the best place just to shove all in and hope he has a hand that can call us with our limited fold equity versus likely strong range. Unfortunately, we don't get any action, but we do pick up much needed blinds and annies. This time we have Jack-10 suited with less than 10 big blinds at the 120k big blind level, which is a prime candidate to rip it all in in hopes of either stealing the blinds and annies or winning a race if needed. The big blind reluctantly calls us with King-8 offsuit, and we're essentially flipping. So we got 215th in the Gladiator yesterday out of 23,102 entries. Pretty happy with the run. We built it up to, I think we peaked at 1.34 million from a 30K starting stack. Happy with the run. Would have been nice to go a little deeper, 500K up top. But we turned $300 into $3,000. we are happy with that. So we're heading over to the Aria in a bit. We're going to play the $600, 75K guarantee one day and hopefully win that. We'll keep you guys updated.